you your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another episode of the Interactive Road to Division 1 here on Xbox One. Now, of course, this is the series where you guys pick the teams that we play with by commenting your suggestions as we look to head through the head-to-head -head ranked divisions looking for that Division 1 title. We did pick up a divisional title in the previous episode, the Division 7 title, with a massive win with VRL 5-1 and a 4-0 win with the US men's national team. So we're looking for more good form in this one. Playing as Manchester City in the first game, this suggestion came in from K5MX, Dan Fitzpatrick. Patrick, Liam Fitzpatrick, not sure if there's any relation there, uh, Bryce Henry, Tiny Terror, Mark Hendricks, X Hazy, Mark Livingston and Gary O'Donoghue. So thank you very much to you guys for those suggestions. Now uh, of course everybody knows when you play as the big teams on head to head, nine times out of ten you're going to come up against Real Madrid. The suggestion was Man City, we came up against Real Madrid and uh, it was a fairly AIDS filled game. I'm going to try not to rant too much about the AIDS in this particular game but uh, if you follow me on Twitter you'll know that I was going out of my mind with, uh, with rage at Real Madrid in, uh, in this particular game because uh, we were fortunate there to get a little bit of a deflection for Stefan Jovic to put us 1-0 up and then uh, this second bit is just horrific. You'll see the ball over Ronaldo. I watch the run with my Richards, I track the run, and then he just straight up misses the ball when he goes up for the header. Gareth Bale's through one on one, pops the ball into the back of the net, and uh, he's back on level terms. So we move into the second half, and he's actually going to catch me on the counter attack here with a legitimate, genuinely good goal this time. He's going to whip the ball in with Di Maria. Up goes Cristiano Ronaldo. I tried to jump with uh, with company, but the the defender I wasn't in control with, Clichy, jumped instead, and I couldn't challenge for the ball. Ronaldo headed the ball into the back of the net, and we went two one down. And we got another bit of fortunate luck. And uh, Jovetic, lovely finish, though, to be fair. Chess it down. Nice little touch over the onrushing Ike Casillas. And we back level at 2-2. And then he caught me on the counter-attack again with the pace that Real Madrid have. Ronaldo and Gareth Bale up top with Di Maria out wide was just unplayable for me with uh, with the, the defence that I had out. Micah Richards, Vincent Company, Gal Clisi and Pablo Zabaleta. He targeted Zabaleta all game long. But this was just horrific as well. Joe Hart comes out, clears the ball. Vincent Company or Gal Clisi, in fact, can't bring it under control, Ronaldo puts in a perfect sliding tackle, hooks the ball round into the back of the net and we go 4-2 down in the 77th minute and then I was going to try and get myself back into the game here with an overhead kick from Jovetic awful finish, but uh, the game actually lagged out, the game dropped, he I don't think it was a rage quit. I think it was just a genuine lag out drop connection but it still was going to give me the loss which kind of whipped me off a little bit more because I thought oh, we've had a we've had an absolute let off it's going to not count the game because the connection has dropped we'll be able to get away with it just so we uh, we did in a previous game and uh, unfortunately no it does register the loss so we do pick a defeat up there but the next suggestion was actually Manchester United the other team from Manchester and this suggestion came in from BKSXKAGER I'm not really too sure how to pronounce it it was just a mixture of letters as far as I could tell and then Ahmed Madafra was the other suggestion and of course playing as one of the bigger teams on the game yet again we found ourselves coming up against Real Madrid for a second time and in the snow no less so uh, I was determined to do better in this game perform better and uh, hopefully get a better result to uh, to kind of prove to myself that I can beat Real Madrid when playing online. But we came close with Marouane Fellaini there. Really unfortunate not to take a 1-0 lead. And uh, for some reason, David De Gea just wouldn't go and pick the ball up there. He just decided to jockey next to it and he was able to get the shot away. He's going to whip the corner in and it's going to be a dangerous one. Sami Kadira weirdly taking the corner and up goes Pepe. But fortunately, David De Gea's palms it away. Eventually, we are going to be able to clear the ball from our box despite Fellaini dropping down injured. But here, mistake from him. Sends through Robin Van Persie. He's got the entire half to himself. Surely he's going to finish it. I even slow down to settle myself and he kicks the ball straight at Ike Casillas. I try to place it down into the far bottom left hand corner and genuinely just kicked it dead straight down the middle of the goal. Straight into Ike Casillas' chest. So I was frustrated enough from the first game. That wicks me off even more heading into the second half but it was pretty even actually. Uh, he'd had a little bit more possession. I was struggling with the conditions. I'm really not very good in the snow or the rain, but you guys know that already. And now we're heading into the second half. We're actually going to catch him on the counter-attack here. He's had a decent chance. Fellaini plays a lovely through ball to Juan Mata. First touch isn't the best. Plays it through to Robin Van Persie. Great save from Mika Casillas. Antonio Valencia on the rebound. Fires it against the post. Juan Mata, open goal header. No, he's headed it across goal. How could he... Is it impossible for me to do well against Real Madrid? Honestly, how's Juan Mata missed this header? How's he done that? I don't know. Robin Van Persie was about to put it in the back of the net, but he was offside. We still can't score against Real Madrid, but Matt gets tackled there. It drops to Raphael of all players in the box, and with a cut back across the goal, finds the bottom corner, and it's the right back popping up 
in the edge of the box to uh, to give us the lead in this one. The most unlikely of sources for a goal, but that brought the instant rage quick, which was really weird considering it'd been quite an even game, but clearly he'd had enough and he decided to rage quick. So we take three points from that one. Fortunately, we're finally able to beat Real Madrid on head to head. So uh, in the third game, we're going to come up or playing with FC Basel, which is uh, a team that I would not necessarily have, uh, have picked. But uh, they've got, of course, Stocker, who is uh, the wide winger, and they would have had Salah as well, but of course he's recently moved to Chelsea, so uh, he isn't available for selection in head-to-head -head at Basel anymore. But this suggestion came in from uh, Minister Owl and Callum Whitelock, so thank you to you two for that suggestion. And we're actually going to get off to a fantastic start. Sio is just going to get to the ball before the goalkeeper does and slot it underneath him just before half-time to give us a 1-0 lead. But the second half was absolute dominance from us. It was just wave after wave of attack, and in fairness, goal after goal. This is the second one there but one thing while the uh, the highlights of this game pan out uh, a lot of you guys have been and I've noticed this quite recently in the past two or three videos you've been copying each other a lot in the comment section which I don't mind F feel free that's the whole idea comment lots and lots for the team that you want me to play with but you've all been copying each other with teams that I've already used in the series so if uh, I can ask one thing of you please if you're gonna you know just copy and paste what someone else has put because you want to uh, suggest those same teams please do just please do just double check that we haven't used those teams already in the series because we're only 11 episodes in we're only in division 6 and I don't really want to be uh, going back over teams that we've already used just yet there's still quite a few teams that we can uh, use before we have to start going back over some uh, some previous teams to be competitive as we head through the uh, you know the stronger divisions as we get higher up it's going to be a little bit easier with the quote unquote lesser teams in uh, this early stage but uh, as we head towards the uh, you know the top end of the division rankings it's going to get a lot harder so i'd like to get a lot of uh, you know obscure uh, suggestions out of the way or not out of the way but you know it's nice to try and play with uh, teams that I'm not used to playing with and enjoy playing with them you know against players that might not necessarily be quite as good as they might be later on in the tournament or in the tournament in the in the head to head seasons so that I'm going to enjoy playing with these random teams to uh, just kind of improve my enjoyment of recording the series and your enjoyment to watch it so uh, as you can see we ran out 6-0 winners in this one with FC Basel fantastic game from them I wasn't too impressed with the way they played they were just very very effective against this Tigris uh, side. So we take six points from this episode, two wins and a defeat from our opening Division 6 games. Who do you want me to use in the next episode? Feel free to leave me a comment down in the comment section and I will pick three teams for use in episode number 12. So feel free to do that down below. If you missed the previous episode, there will be an annotation on the screen over the left fist on the end slate. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already and you would like to do so, there's plenty of ultimate team and career mode on here. So feel free to hit the subscribe button or there's a link in the description and an annotation on the screen over the right hand fist. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, then feel free to do so at Chesnoy Gaming is the Twitter handle. There's a link to the description in that one as well. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow with some more career mode.